Saccharina latissima, low and locally is sugar kelp, grows around the British Isles. This species is now of high interest to the British agriculture sector for the use in pharmaceuticals, cosmetics and as a biofuel. Saccharina latissima is made up of a holdfast, a stipe and a long blade known as a frond. The project I am currently working on looks at when Saccharina latissima is most fertile in the wild. The spores are collected to cultivate in aquaculture. This aims to increase the efficiency of the entire process. To test when Saccharina latissima is most fertile, I mark 10 wild plants in the Dunstaffnage Bay. Each month I core three pieces of fertile tissue, also known as sporangial tissue. These samples are dried and kept in a dark space in a 10 degree fridge overnight. The next morning salt water is added back into the samples to mimic the tides. The samples are left for a further hour in the fridge to shock the fertile spores, also known as myospores, from the sporangial tissue. The sporangial tissue is then removed from the samples, this leaving the spores available for extraction from the seawater. Myospores are flagellated cells which mean they can swim using their hair-like tail. The spores then settle onto a given substrate. In aquaculture this is usually twine, but in my experiment it was a petri dish. The cells that were released from each of the 10 samples are then counted underneath a microscope. This process is repeated for the 5 months that Saccharina latissima is known to be fertile, from October to February. This is in the hope to see when the peak fertility of any of these given months are.